Oil palm trees are astonishingly productive. A single hectare of oil palms can yield five to seven tons of crude palm oil per year. Other seed crops produce many times less. Both environmentalists and the United Nations Development Program recognize the potential for palm oil to be grown and harvested in a sustainable manner that takes into account the environment, the economy and the community. Sustainability is at the heart of innovative palm oil companies like PT Smart, which are making great strides at providing this vital seed oil to the world in an eco-friendly fashion. As part of their sustainability initiatives, PT Smart funds an in-house R&D institute, SmartRe, on the island of Sumatra. About 3 million hectares, or 40% of the plantations, belong to smallholders in Indonesia. So increasing the productivity is crucial. PT Smart's collaborations with smallholders, known as the Plasma Scheme, led to an improvement in their yield per hectare. They're confident that over time, almost all of their 45,000 smallholders will collaborate with them to increase the productivity of their plantations. The company has a holistic approach to sustainability. It's launched a yield improvement policy alongside a forest conservation policy as well as a social and community engagement policy. The yield improvement policy focuses on the company's best practices in planting material, agronomy, plantation management and land suitability. Our farm is a complex system, so we try to study the basic in oil palm, so we break it into parts. We're studying about photosynthesis in oil palm, how much the oil palm uh, makes from carbon dioxide, and how it distributes to the trunk, to the leaf, and finally even to the fruit, finally to the oil. We believe there are still more to come in the future, as, as we, we, we believe that the potential right now is around 10,000 kilograms of oil per hectare. There is a biotechnology team here involved in the global oil palm genome project, a worldwide initiative, to try to get the oil palms to produce more oil but use less land. The project uses molecular biology as a tool to support conventional breeding. The main objective is to map the entire genome spectrum of oil palm varieties including identification of specific traits such as disease resistance, drought tolerance, superior quality oil and high yield. We try to do some crop modeling so that later we can predict the yield of the oil palm or if you have a problem now with the yield then you can look back and look at the weather data or the data that we have collected and maybe try to explain based on what we find in this kind of basic agrophysiology study. PT Smart ensures that every part of the fruit is used. For example, fronds and empty fruit bunches are turned into fertilizer and palm kernel shells become animal feed. Some stakeholders also claim palm oil companies are endangering the health of workers and contaminating the earth with large amounts of pesticides. PT Smart has taken a different approach. It has reduced its use of chemicals by focusing on biological controls, including wasps, birds and fungi to deal with common oil palm pathogens. Owl boxes are built to attract barn owls, a natural, eco-friendly way to control rodents. And native tree species are planted to draw bats and other insectivores. Most campaigners say they don't want a boycott of palm oil but they want to see it produced sustainably without destroying Indonesia's rainforests and carbon-rich peatlands. Can this be done? We believe uh, that it can be done in a way that is sustainable. Sustainable in, in an economical point of view, of course, but also in the social point of view and an environmental point of view. There are some challenges how to develop this without harming the environment. 
But I believe this is, we, can, we can do it, we can achieve this. If these improvements are possible, commitments made and promises kept, palm oil might be part of the solution to world hunger, clean energy and rural poverty.